In 1955, a TV series graced screens, drawing audiences into tales from the Old West. It's more than cowboy hats and shootouts. It's about qualities that make it a lasting symbol of the industry. What keeps viewers hooked? That's worth considering. As you delve into the Old West with Gunsmoke, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny moments that'll make you laugh, surprising twists that'll leave you wide-eyed, and heart-wrenching scenes that'll tug at your heartstrings. So keep your eyes peeled for the unexpected. There's more to this series than meets the eye. Now, what makes Gunsmoke stand the test of time? Is it the grit of the characters, the authenticity of the setting, or perhaps the timeless themes explored? The answers may surprise you. Before you go, share your most cherished memory or personal experience with this series. Your stories and memories add another layer to its legacy. Get ready for a journey through the Old West filled with laughter, shock, and tears. There's something about Gunsmoke that transcends eras. Find out what it is. Gunsmoke, the 1955 TV series, left its imprint on television history by immersing audiences in the rugged tales of the Old West. Beyond the cowboy hats and intense shootouts, what draws viewers into the narrative is the authenticity it brings to characters and settings. The Old West becomes more than just a backdrop. It becomes a character itself, adding depth to the unfolding drama. The characters, with their complexities and vulnerabilities, go beyond stereotypes, creating a dynamic story that viewers can relate to on a human level. What sets the show apart is its exploration of timeless themes. It delves into morality, justice, and the human condition. The narrative isn't confined to cowboys and outlaws. It's a journey through the various emotions that make us human. From moments of laughter to surprising twists and heart-wrenching scenes, Gunsmoke takes viewers on an emotional roller coaster, leaving a lasting impression. As viewers journey through the Old West, they discover that the show's lasting power isn't just about the era it represents. Instead, it's the universal themes and relatable characters that make it a classic. Viewers find themselves drawn into a world where the struggles and triumphs of the characters mirror their own experiences, creating a connection that transcends time. Gunsmoke's impact extends beyond the small screen. Personal stories and cherished memories shared by fans add another layer to its cultural significance. Whether it's a tale of laughter shared with family or a touching moment, these anecdotes become part of Gunsmoke's rich legacy. In essence, Gunsmoke remains relevant today because it's not just a show about the Old West, it's a reflection of the human experience. Its ability to captivate, entertain, and provoke thought ensures that, even in the ever-evolving landscape of television, Gunsmoke's influence endures, proving that some stories truly stand the test of time. James Arness, a war veteran with a distinguished military background, faced adversity before becoming Marshal Matt Dillon in the long-running TV series. Drafted in 1943, he served in the 3rd Infantry Division during the Anzio invasion, sustaining severe injuries that led to a medical discharge. His commitment earned him a Bronze Star, Purple Heart, and other accolades. Notably, challenges persisted during filming, with scenes requiring extensive walking scheduled in the morning due to Arnis's wartime injuries. Arnis's initial hesitation to take on the role of Marshal Dillon stemmed from industry concerns about potential repercussions on his movie career. Overcoming this apprehension after counsel from his close friend John Wayne, he embraced the character that would define his legacy. Milburn Stone, who portrayed Doc, played a unique role in shaping the series. After 16 seasons, producers entrusted him to choose Doc's first name. Opting for Galen, a nod to an ancient Greek physician, Stone's decision added a layer of historical richness to the character. Interestingly, this name choice was confirmed in a particular episode where Theodore Bickle's character referred to Doc Adams as Galen. In essence, the strength of the show lies not just in its depiction of the Old West, but in the depth of its characters and their authenticity. The series explores timeless themes of morality and justice, transcending stereotypes to present a genuine portrayal of the human condition. Viewers find themselves drawn into a world where the struggles and triumphs of the characters mirror their own experiences, creating a connection that endures beyond the small screen. The impact of the series extends into the personal stories and memories shared by fans contributing to its cultural significance. Whether it's a tale of laughter shared with family or a touching moment, these anecdotes become integral to its rich legacy. The show remains relevant today, not just as a depiction of the Old West, 
but as a reflection of the enduring human experience. Dennis Weaver's persistence paid off when, dissatisfied with his initial audition for Chester, he pleaded for another chance. This time, armed with his distinctive country accent, he secured the role that would become an integral part of the show. His determination added a unique flavor to the series. In 1967, facing cancellation due to low ratings, Gunsmoke found an unexpected savior in CBS President William Paley. A devoted fan, he not only reversed the decision but strategically shifted the show from Saturdays to Mondays. This maneuver propelled it back into Nielsen's top 10, solidifying its place in television history. The final chapter of the show saw Gary Busey's character, Harve Daly, meeting his demise, marking the end of an era. This significant event emphasized the show's willingness to explore the harsh realities of the Old West, leaving viewers with a memorable ending. In summary, Gunsmoke's journey was not without its challenges. From Dennis Weaver's determined audition to the brink of cancellation and the strategic move that saved it, the series navigated turbulent waters. The last gunshot echoed with Harv Daly's departure, sealing the show's place as a gritty, authentic portrayal of the Old West. Its resilience and ability to defy the odds showcased its lasting influence on television. In the quest to find the perfect embodiment of Marshall Matt Dillon for the 1955 TV series, a TV Guide article from August 23, 1975, revealed that the casting process involved testing 26 actors. Notable contenders included William Conrad, who fell short in appearance, and Raymond Burr, deemed too large by producer Charles Marquis Warren. Even John Wayne was allegedly not considered, with the role ultimately going to James Arness, encouraged by none other than John Wayne himself, who also introduced the inaugural episode. A unique aspect of the series lies in Glenn Strange's role as Sam, the bartender. It marked the final film project for Strange, adding a touch of historical significance to his portrayal in the show. The character arc of Miss Kitty Russell underwent a notable evolution. Initially portrayed as a madam in the radio series and hinted at as such in the early TV episodes, the decision was made to transition her into a more family-friendly role as a lady saloon owner. This shift, as explained by James Arness in a DVD commentary, aimed to make the show more accessible to a broader audience. In weaving the fabric of the show, Milburn Stone, who played Doc, contributed not just as an actor, but also played a pivotal role in shaping the character. Stone was given the responsibility of choosing Doc's first name, opting for Galen, a nod to an ancient Greek physician. This decision added a layer of historical depth to Doc's character, enriching the narrative. Dennis Weaver's persistence secured his role as Chester, bringing a distinctive country accent to the series. The show faced the threat of cancellation in 1967, but CBS president William Paley, a devoted fan, intervened by not only saving it, but strategically repositioning it from Saturdays to Mondays, rejuvenating its ratings. The concluding chapter of the series marked by Gary Busey's character, Harv Daly, meeting his demise underscored the commitment to portraying the harsh realities of the Old West. This memorable ending sealed its reputation as a gritty and authentic depiction of the era. Navigating challenges from auditions to potential cancellation, the show's journey is a testament to its resilience and influence on television. It goes beyond being a mere portrayal of the Old West, becoming a reflection of the human experience, captivating audiences across generations.